So it's the 2nd of August 2023. I haven't uploaded a video in a couple of months, being honest with you. I had some personal issues to deal with and I had to kind of be there for them. I'm being honest with you. But uh, if you are following me Facebook, you see I was putting up uh, emails that I retrieved, all emails that I got back, and it shows uh, the actions of Mr. Henry Halligan, brother of uh, ex Minister John Halligan, ex Mayor John Halligan. And um, as we know, these people uh, assume they can do what they want within Waterford, and for some reason they're allowed to do what they want within Waterford. And I want to give some context into something down there once and for all. I was speaking about uh, Mr. Henry Halligan and what he done regarding my mother's funeral and before that how he gave David Cunningham back private emails that I had sent to a priest and he had deleted them. And then um, I basically spoke online, I'm sure a few of you got to hear me. And uh, I said it uh, and I kind of called it out for what it was basically this kind of favouritism and how kind of it's never really gotten to the bottom of any of the stuff. Like we all know there's two and a half decades of shipping cover up regarding certain people and certain issues. Do you know what I mean? So girls approached me and they kind of confided in me in messages and emails and told me what was after happening and their story and stuff. And this was all private. I wasn't sharing it. I wasn't nothing like that. They were just kind of like sending me messages, sending me emails. But my emails and my messages were being read, basically. And then a, a certain group of people got worried because the, the messages that I had received and the emails were so kind of graphic. Do you know what I mean? It, it just basically showed that these girls weren't lying, even being honest with you. And then um, panic set in. So on the 2nd of March 2023, I think it was the 2nd, I'm not really sure, I could be the tour, but I think it was the 2nd, I dropped my mother-in-law up to the post office, up in Barrick Street there, I was with my wife and my daughter, and I was sitting in the car. Now I've been followed around by, by uh, the Halligans mainly. I've been speaking about this on and off for kind of like a number of years now, I've been honest with you. But I had Ray Halligan follow me. Morning, noon, and night, all around the place in his Peugeot. If I wanted him, it was Henry Halligan in his Volkswagen. And then I was getting followed by a Suzuki Jeep, and I put that up online, and I also reported that to the guards, but that turned out to be John Halligan. When I got the reg ran, it was John Halligan. That's who it turned out to be. So on the 2nd of March, I was sitting in the car. Me mother-in-law went into the post office, and uh, Ray Halligan... Uh, he basically pulled up across the road from uh, myself, my wife and my daughter in his car. Walks past the front of my car, shouts abuse at the car, trying to provoke me. I didn't answer, like, had my wife and my daughter was asleep in the back of the car, being honest with you. And so then uh, he went back, done it again, started screaming and shouting at me. My wife is a witness to all this now, and uh, she was saying to me, don't say anything. So I didn't say anything. And usually I wouldn't have, I'm being fucking honest. But, um... He done it again then, and every time he was doing this, he was winding himself up, as well I was, until eventually he was so wound up, he came up and he started approaching the car, so I turned on my phone, so I videoed it. Now I can't really go into the details of what was said, right, And because uh, I'm going to upload the video after this of what I videoed with Ray Halligan, right, and he made a reference that I was to pass a message on to a young one up in Children's Group Link who was giving me the information Basically saying that uh, um, that she owed six thousand euro, and that they'd be looking for the back. Basically, basically it was a veiled threat. He tried to pass a threat through me to this person, like after reading me messages. That was basically what was after happening. Panic set in, and he came up. So obviously, I went to the guards. Now I'm not condoning my own behaviour because I'm going to upload the video after this. I had to edit one or two bits out of it. But I'm not condoning my own behaviour because I did kind of get wound up, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, I think it's very relevant, his comment at the end of it, about uh, he can tell that one up in Children's Group Link that she owes 6,000 euro. Like, what would he know about Children's Group Link? He'd not do Children's Group Link. Do you know what I mean? So what, what is it? why would he have any like knowledge or the finances of Children's Group Link? And if he's implying that some of those money, like, why, why want to report it? So I believe... 
that um, the guards should have looked into this because I went over to the guards straight afterwards, uh, myself, my wife, my mother-in-law, my daughter, and uh, I reported. And the bank guard that was taking it, she wouldn't take uh, my wife's statement. She said she ran out of time. This is no word of a lie. Now, this is all on video, and I'm going to upload the video afterwards, right? They said that uh, the guards basically covered from as usual, because as we know, like, it's an ongoing thing with the Halligans and the guards. Basically, uh, covering up from pulling strings all over the place. Like, if it's not them, it's fucking other local TDs, as we all know. Yeah, so he came over trying to provoke me. And basically, the guards tried to say that, First, they tried to say that if he was to be charged, right, that I was going to be charged, right? So I said, I'm fine with that. I don't mind. I'll go to court. I have no problem whatsoever. And then they backtracked and said, oh, no, no, there's not enough evidence. Now, it's on camera. I'll upload yoke after this. But, like, what's more important is what, what did he mean by the tell that one of a children's group link that she owes 6,000 euro? Do you know what I mean? Basically showing that he was at the been reading my private messages and panic set in that it was about to be out with them, what they were after burying for so many years, being honest with you. And yet again, the guards make excuses for them over and over and over again. To have these trying to build a reputation back up, after we all know about the whispers about them and all this kind of shit, they're not even whispers, if I'm being honest with you. And I'd really go into detail now, but uh, I don't want to like jeopardize somebody else's case, if I'm being honest with you, but uh, Personally, I don't think that's going to go anywhere, but hopefully I'm wrong. I reported Henry Halligan's actions regarding me, like what he done to me emails and regarding the interfering in my mother's funeral arrangements. I reported him to the bishop, who ignored me. Eleven times he ignored me, until I threatened to kind of like, I was going to contact every bishop and every priest, then all of a sudden he could answer me and play it down. Do you know what I mean? God forbid he hold any of them accountable. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna upload the video after this. It's a bit edited because I had to edit out some parts, names, and kind of the privacy and kind of stuff. So I just want to show you, like the guards are trying to say that this shouldn't be looked into. This 100% should have been looked into. Not only that, he breached someone's bail conditions. There were strict bail conditions set down, very strict bail conditions, and he breached them. And the guards are not bringing that in front of the judge who set them bail conditions. And you have to ask yourself, boy, is it because his brother is the ex-mayor and the ex-minister? And because I can't vocabularize what I want to get across, basically. And uh, to prove my point, these people uh, think they're going to get away with like what they've gotten away with for two and a half decades. Do you know what I mean? And the guards are assisting this 100%. Everyone knows that, the guards. And hopefully now there's a change in of the guards because I think there's a new superintendent up there now. So I wrote to him and hopefully there might be something different on this time. Now that there's a new chief superintendent, then the last approach. Because there's a couple of things I wanted to address here. Then, and I, want, I didn't want to be jumping back and forth and kind of because this stuff is getting crazy, if I'm being honest with you. But, um, a couple of months ago, if you see uh, someone reported me, I was apparently shouting abuse up in Barrick Street from me car or something. No, up in Bally Brick, sorry, it was. It was all bullshit, right? I was here with my wife and uh, the guard came down and he said, no, he didn't, sorry. The guard rang me and he basically warned me, right? And I was like, what are you on about? Because like, like, I was here with my wife, I was genuinely here with my wife. And uh, as we all know, there's a tracker on my car. So they would have known where I was. But um, I, asked, I wrote to the superintendent and I asked for the details of what was reported as I wanted to kind of add it in my own file because I'm trying to build up my own kind of collection of stuff and they tried to tell me uh, that that guard didn't exist what was the guard's name I gave him the guard's name and he said there's no such guard and I was like what do you mean there's no such guard now my wife was next to me she heard this phone call right so then uh, the guard came down and the fellow that was telling me there was no such guard right I went up to the station after this for an appointment right and then they tried to tell me that the guard that told me there was no such guard that he doesn't exist now i know how confusing that must sound all i'm trying to do is gaslight my mental fucking health is what they're doing i don't have any men mental health issues i just have a problem trying to explain this stuff and my wife is a witness to this now do you know what i mean so they tried to say that he don't exist do you know what i mean so they didn't have to look into it 
no sorry actually the first guard that they said didn't exist i was able to go back to my call records and i found that the phone the phone number that he rang me from was a i googled it and they came up by a wall of a guard station so then they turned around and they said oh no him it was the other guard didn't exist so they changed the story and then um, i was talking about the tracker on my car and the guard said to me uh, how did i know know about it because i've been told about the tracker that it wasn't a magnetic one that it was hardwired in now and uh, they said that they'd look for the tracker on the condition that i tell them who told who that they'd look for the tracker on the condition that i tell them who told me about the tracker on the car and like how it was put on so i said uh, i wasn't willing to give anyone's names for anything and um, i'll take the keys back so i took the keys back off the guard because like he's going to look for the tracker on the condition i give somebody's name who told me where the tracker was like think about that like crazy stuff but anyway i just wanted to make a brief um, video just to get things back up and running i've got a lot of my emails back and um, i'm going to start uploading them as you probably see in my facebook and you see that i was actually telling the truth and i was awarded both the kids not only my own daughter but like her daughter as well and like we're better like if there's something kind of like dodgy about me we're better to say it than in the courtroom in front of a judge and maybe there was something illegal that she didn't want to say and like well like fair enough then she didn't want to say it. then why would she drop the kids down after the courtroom or after all that whole fiasco in court where she wouldn't let me see the kids trying to provoke me do you know what I mean so um as this is my first video it's going to be a pretty short one because uh I'm trying to get back into the swing of things being honest with you but I'm far from uh, finished with this and uh, I'm not giving up these tramps interfere with my mother's funeral and I'm not letting it go and the shit that was covered up regarding them for two and a half decades needs to be called out do you know what I mean where's the accountability and other TDs that are brown nosing John Halligan do you know what I mean they should be called out as well and removed from that property being honest with you yeah so i'm going to just leave it at that basically yeah and basically uh, the guard said there was a uh, ray halligan didn't do anything wrong because as we know they're treated with so much a uh, preferen preferential um treatment in waterford the benefits of having an next mayor i suppose is a uh, as a brother do you know what i mean but that whole kind of children's grouping should have been investigated from the start. It should, be, it should have been independently investigated. Do you really think that you're going to have an ex-mayor's family investigated? And there's not going to be some kind of influence or favoritism shown? So um, I'm going to leave it there. Oh yeah, the guard, the bank guard that I did report Ray Halligan to, that I told you that she said she ran out of time to take me wife's statement. Um, she did have time though to call me wife in and offer some advice that maybe she shouldn't be with me if she's getting harassed so like you know what I mean that's the way you're dealing with shit so uh, I know that video is a bit all over the place there now but um, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things there now so I'm going to leave it there now and I'm going to upload the video of Ray Halligan approaching me me wife and me daughter and me mother-in-law was in the post office so um you can make your own minds up if this should have been looked into and his comments looked into further oh well, that's what i meant to say someone did upload a clip of this onto reddit not me if it was me i'd say it was me but i wanted me and I had a couple of morons like basically saying that i, I was uh, following around his family and i was trying to provoke him and all this shit i've only ever spoken the truth I've only ever spoken the truth and it needs investigating, okay? And I'm going to start uh, uploading more emails and I'll show you that I've been telling the truth all along. And these people have no place in politics, do you know what I mean? Rubbing shoulders with corrupt fucking guards, rubbing shoulders with criminals, local criminals. Like, do you know what I mean? It just goes on and on and on. And the expectation is that uh, I can be harassed into kind of not pursuing this. Do you know what I mean? That changed when you focused on my mother. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to leave it there. And the video, well, you can make your own mind up on the video of uh, Ray Halligan. 
and uh, whether or not the girl should have looked into this okay thanks i'll be back in there now you look for me move away from the car though, will you move away from the oh. car there's a the trailer yeah yeah yep, move away from the car yep, well are you treading me are you are you treading me yep, are you treading me oh, i'm just coming back You're the one. You're trading me, are you? Take care, yeah. mad. No one yeah. likes you. No yeah, one no one likes you. you. You have a problem. Did he get his book? With your ex wife. Did he? You have a problem. Did he? Did he? Did he? Look at the one talking. You're a Pull fool. Your You're Pull a your strings. Pull your strings. You're trading me, yeah. You're a fool. Hey, That's did you hear that? that? Yeah, don't time for drug dealing. Did I, yeah? yeah. Drug dealer. Did I, yeah? Is that it, yeah? Yeah, yeah scumbag. Drug dealer. Yeah. What, yeah. Oh, you trading me again? Go yeah, on. Drug dealer. Yeah, we trade. You're going to ring in the garden with your fellows, yeah? Yeah. Drug dealer. Your neighbor's not, how's your neighbor's not talking to you? Why aren't your neighbor's talking to you? Yeah, yeah, you. You're mad. Have a, yeah? You're off Have a, yeah? Your yeah. yeah, more trading. Yeah, fool. Yeah, that's it. It will hide them, Bally Big Chugs. And tell the other one who's former group link. Give Which me a, one? Give me info. She owes oh. about 6,000. She won't Does she, yeah? There. Tell her. Oh, who's tell that? Her. You know. The one that. Yeah. 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 I'm a scumbag. Get away, from my, Get away from my car. Get away from my car. What are you doing? Get away from my car. Get away from my car. Get. I'll be reporting this. Get away. I will. I will. Scumbag. 